Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all kinds of great clips. Now enjoy the video. Today, we become a part of Colquitt, Georgia, population 2000, as we tell you the story of swamp gravy. And Jan, it's not the kind you put on your biscuits. No. How about the kind you put on chicken fried steak? Nope, not that either. Are you sure? I'm sure. Can we get some chicken fried we steak can. while right we're here? Right after the show, but get back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, there is a history and a spirit here that we suspect lives in the hearts of many of you. And there are some other cool things in Caldwell. That are a really big, big deal. deal. Well, you've got a story, and I've got a story. We've all got a story to tell. The story of Colquitt may sound familiar if you're from a small town. In the 1980s, the town was dying from tough economic times, and the future looked bleak. But these proud Southern people were not about to let their beloved town fade away. And what they did well, it shows every town has a story to tell. The people of Cockwood told us some amazing stories about how they kept their town alive. We met some delightful people who opened our eyes as to what can be accomplished if you work together and dream big. We were looking for something to bring it alive. We organized the Chamber of Commerce, and in 1990, I met a theater director and he said, if you'll do an oral history-based project, I'll come down there and we'll do it, which he called theater of the people, by the people, and for the people. What? You want to do what? A community play? We went into the community. We got people who liked to tell stories, people who liked to collect stories, people who wanted to dance, people who wanted to act, people who wanted to sweep the floor. Originally, when we started off this project, you know, we were hauling crates around in the back of our trucks and going <laughs> to schoolhouses to try to come up with funding to get our, you know, our, our dream off the ground. I've been a story gatherer since I was knee high to a grasshopper. <laughs> it turned out to be one of the best thing that ever happened to me. Because of Swamp Gravy and the other events that the Arts Council produces, it's like people coming here all the time keep our stores open. We're the poster child for community development through the arts and culture. What's the deal with all the murals around here? Well, we decided we wanted to paint murals because that would be an economic development also. There are 15 huge murals, making it Georgia's first mural city. Opening night for this year's show is tonight. So I'm kind of wondering how the production crew and the actors are feeling about now. Is this the first time one of your plays has been the feature? No, I've done seven. This is the absolute first play I ever wrote back in 2000. Oh. And so they wanted to do a remount, and it was such a popular one. They were reprising it. So you're like <laughs> the most popular playwright. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> but, so Barbara, it has got to feel pretty cool to have a life story about you tonight. Oh yes, it's uh, very exciting and humbling. Emily, it's got to be pretty cool to play her. It really is. She always knew that there was something uh, bigger, that she was a part of something bigger. Jen, so it's almost time for opening night. That's right, but as we head over to Cotton mm -hmm. Hall, here's a behind the scenes tour of this unique theater. Cotton Hall Theater has become a destination for people who might never have come to this southwestern corner of Georgia. 284 people can watch the show from inside this room. We've got multiple stages in this unique space, so there's not really a bad seat in the house. As you can see, the Cotton Hall Theater and Museum is the perfect setting for Swamp Gravy. The crowd is filtering in, and there is excitement in the air. Welcome to opening night of Swamp Gravy! How far did you drive? Um, about an hour and 15 minutes. Just to see Swamp Gravy, you're in for a treat. How many times have you seen Swamp Gravy? Since 1996. We're from South Alabama, so it's kind of like Southern Georgia, and the stories are very familiar. Okay, we gotta hurry up. It's about to start. We're gonna let Steve stir up a little Swamp Gravy.
You know, the talent and hard work that it takes to put something like this on, I'm in awe. I'm about to show Rodney my great idea, and it's really going to help us become part of the story. How do I let her get me in this stuff? Son, we know so well. You tell me yours, and I'll tell you mine. We'll put them all together and start all up. We'll have storytelling time. We'll put them all together and start all up. We'll have a storytelling time. Jen and I want to thank all of you for letting us be a part of your story. That's right. And one thing's for sure, Rodney and I have learned that the true spirit of the South is definitely served up in swamp gravy. Yeah! Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.